Do you know about serverless instances on MongoDB Atlas? Let's check it out. When creating a new database in Atlas, you now have three options, shared, dedicated, and serverless. Serverless is great for applications with variable or infrequent traffic. If you get a spike in traffic periodically, the serverless instance will scale seamlessly to meet your workload and you'll only pay for the operations that you run. So that means when there's no traffic, you don't pay anything. And when you do get a spike in traffic, you're only going to pay for the resources that you use. Just choose serverless, pick your cloud provider, region, and create your instance. It's that simple. Serverless instances run on the latest version of MongoDB with always on security and backups. So now we're ready to connect. I'm going to connect using a simple Node.js application to demonstrate the seamless scalability of serverless instances. In this demo app, I've installed the MongoDB package via NPM, pasted my URI connection string from the serverless instance, and created a client object that we'll use to interact with the database. I'm using a set interval to write to the database every specified interval. Let's start with every second. All right, to run this, we'll open up our terminal and type node index. And we're gonna insert one every second. So let's just let this run till about 10 and then we'll stop it. So now let's go over to Atlas and check our collection to see what was inserted. So back in our collection, let's go to browse collections. And we'll see here that we have 10 documents in this collection. Let's go over to monitoring. And here we can see that the serverless instance handled it with no problem. So let's decrease our interval to 500 milliseconds. So we'll change the interval to 500. And I'm also going to add a collection dot drop just so that we start with an empty collection every time. All right, so let's run that again. And now it's gonna insert one every half second. So we'll let this run till around 20 and then we'll stop it. All right, it went to 21. So let's go check our collection again. So back up to the top here, we'll go to collections and we should see 21 and we do. And back over to monitoring, we can see again that it handled it with no problem. So let's go back and let's change this now to 100 milliseconds. And let's run it again. Now imagine this is sales coming into your store. Maybe you had a Black Friday sale and this would be the worst time for a database to fail. So we'll go ahead and stop it there, 181. Let's go back to our collections. And we have 181 documents. Go back to monitoring. And again, we can see that the serverless instance has kept up with no issues. If you're working on a proof of concept, an application that doesn't get a lot of traffic, or an application that gets sporadic spikes in traffic, you should give serverless instances a try. You could save some money instead of paying a monthly fee for a database that's not always used. Just pay for the resources that you do use. Let me know what you think of serverless instances on MongoDB Atlas. If you have any questions or feedback, visit our community forums at community.mongodb.com. Our community and employees are there ready to answer your questions. If this video was helpful, be sure to like and subscribe.